hello. Can, can I just um, kick off asking, um, do you find it's a little bit strange that you're playing the first game of the Champions League, the new format and competition, with all this glitz and glamour on a Thursday night? Well, it's different, so here we are, uh, playing on a Thursday night in Champions League, which is um, different, but um, really happy, motivated, very enthusiastic, uh, first game, um, a really tough place to come. Um, they built something amazing here, and, and it was a beautiful story what they achieved last season, but for us as well. Uh, it's a new season, and, and we really want to, to, to kick on the right way. Does it give you a disadvantage, though? Because, you know, it's quite out of the ordinary, isn't it, for, for Thursday? And then you're going to Man City for such a key game on Sunday. They're playing tonight at home. Does that affect...? Hopefully not. Hopefully we have so much energy for what happened on Sunday as well. It was great. Uh, we have recovered a few players, which is um, very important for us as well. And, and we play a competition that uh, we absolutely love tomorrow. So we look at the positives. Hi, Mikel. I think the, the question that a lot of Arsenal fans want to know is, is there an update on Martin and how long he might be out for? Yeah, after a recent scan, uh, the scan showed there's got some damage, uh, especially one of the ligaments in the ankle. So uh, we're going to miss him, yeah. Can you give us a rough guideline? <laughs> I don't want to do that because I'm not a doctor, but, uh, but yet it's, it's something quite significant. So we're going to lose him for a while. Months, not weeks. Hopefully not, hopefully not months, but let's see. OK, thank you. OK, Gary from Sky. Hello, hi. We saw images of the uh, training. Is there anything that's changed? Players who trained who haven't travelled or players we didn't see train who have travelled? Ricardo, that uh, he was able to train today. Um, so he will be available. He's in the squad and it's great news because um, as we all know, we've been quite short uh, the last few weeks. You've got decisions to make, obviously, with a massive game coming up yeah. and you're playing on a Thursday night away as opposed to a Wednesday night at home. Will you have to rest some players? Will you have to tweak your squad, use your squad a little bit? No, we are in September. We have to, we have to put the players that we believe are the best to win tomorrow and that's uh, the most important and, um, and the only thing for us. Yes, sir. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. What is it about Arsenal and on the road? In 2024, especially in the Premier League, you guys haven't been beaten. It's a bit of a different story in Europe uh, last season. But what is it about on the road that you guys do so well? Is there anything particular that you do before games at all? Well, because if we want to be at the level that we want to be, we have to be really good on the road and at home. <laughs> and there's not a choice. Uh, so we have to continue to, to be that consistent, get the results, especially get the performances that are going to get us the results. And in Europe, as you said, um, it's extremely tough, like it's in the Premier League to win. But um, hopefully we can, we can be more effective than we were last season, because especially in this competition, Small margins define results, and, uh, and we have to be really good at it. Of the five away games in Europe, there were three defeats. What do you think are the nuances between playing away in England and in Europe? Well, there are, but as well, obviously, you don't know the opponents that well, and, um, and then boxes become crucial. I think at this level, there are small details, small moments um, that define the story of the competition um, and define the story of a game. And in the Premier League is a bit different, but in, in Europe, the teams are ruthless and um, you better be at your best and be very, very effective. Hi, Mikael. Just on a bit more on Odegaard, please. Um, obviously, it's a big miss for you, but are you confident that you've got the players to, to fill in for him while he's, while he's absent? Yes, but we have to show that. Obviously, he's our captain. He's one of our biggest players, without a doubt. He's been one of the most or the most consistent players in the last two or three seasons. And this was who it is and um, our identity as well is very related to his way of playing and, and his way of behaving. We're going to have to deal with that and uh, that's a great test for the team as well, uh, how capable we are to, to show maybe a different face uh, and, and the fact that we have other players and other options that can be still very effective. And uh, in terms of um, last year's Champions League, how much do you think this, this team has learned from their experiences of playing in the Champions League last year, and do you think mm. you can take that into this campaign? I hope so. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the aim. Uh, it was a great campaign for us. Uh, we go to a place that, um, that we didn't as a club for 16 or 18 years, and we weren't satisfied and happy at all because we want more. So they show that hunger. Um, I think we have the ability, uh, we have the quality, certainly, and now we have to prove it. Hi, Mikhail. Just picking up on what Ed said, that was this team's first 
uh, campaign in the Champions League together. Did it change your thinking at all, especially maybe the quarterfinal against Bayern, on, on how you approach Europe? It's not, I don't know if it's going to change. Depending on the opponents, depending on the moment that um, that we are in, we certainly learn certain certain lessons, certain aspects that um, that we can do better. Um, and as well, being very conscious that these are the top elite clubs in Europe, and and they know how to play and they know how to compete games really, really well as well. Hi, Mikel. Um, you lost those two big away games against Porto and, and Bayern Munich as well. Um, do you think this team is now better equipped to deal with um, the pressure and those atmospheres of, of, an, of an away day? Because you'll get another one um, here tomorrow night as well. Yeah, as I said, hopefully we have learned as well and, and we can show that composure but as well that determination and that belief that is very important in these stages um, because tomorrow here uh, we know what we are going to be facing and, and it's going to be tough but the team is, is ready and prepared. Hi, Miguel. Um, there's obviously a new format in this season's Champions League with two extra games, and you've spoken in the past about needing to protect the players when it comes to the fixture list. Do you think that's being done based with these extra games? Do you think it's fair on the players, the demands that are being put on them with all these extra games? Well, I think that um, the reason why we changed the format is, is obviously um, for all the football fans and, and all the people that uh, love the sport, you know, and, and to give... Uh, a better product, more entertainment, and now we have to deliver it, especially the players have to deliver. So let's see how it goes. Uh, hi, Mikhail. Have you been pleasantly surprised almost by how the players as a group have responded to kind of coming close last year and having a disappointment? How big of a test is it to start a new season with a lot of determination and resilience? Yes, well, I think this team has always reacted that way. And, uh, and the fact that uh, obviously we weren't satisfied and we wanted more and we knew that, uh, that we could be there and we have the level and, and we lost a few things on the way that didn't allow us to be there. Um, that has to be in the tummy, you know, and a new season, a uh, new opportunity, and that's a beautiful thing about sports. Just quickly uh, uh, about Bukayo Saka, who, who had a slight injury concern at Tottenham. Is he fine? Yes, he's able to to train today, and uh, he completed most of the session, uh, so he's available. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Just talking about your, your away form, um, you're yet to actually trail in any game in the Premier League away from home in 2024. What has changed, and when did you notice that change, and how can that benefit you in Europe? Well, I noticed game game by game, you know, that the team is uh, is able to compete, to perform, and um, and to actually get results uh, in very very difficult stadiums, um, in a really consistent way, and uh, winning matches in different ways, which I think is very important if you want to be consistent, especially play away from home. And now we have to put that those learning into the Champions League, as you said, and uh, and show tomorrow that we are capable of doing that. Manera molto similar. And I think finally we're going to go to Nick at the back. So Nick, you're going to have to shout. Give a shout. Hi. Thank you. Coutinho here and Ricardo Calafiori. Whether you've asked them to speak to the players um, to give them. Some That's why you have to learn Italian. <laughs> I just said uh, that I spoke to both of them just to gather some information because they know obviously the club really well. They both played here. Um, they know a few of the players there, and, and it's always a very important information to to have. Grazie. Grazie. Buonasera a tutti. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.